All right. That's the one we want. Okay. Last time we were facing the shit in here. We didn't do too well. So let's keep going. May the darkness shine in your way. Alright, bear in mind. Ah, there we go. Right, sorry about that. Important phone call.
come back. <laughs> what a bastard. Alright, Firestorm does next to nothing. <clears throat> Let's try that. That does nothing as well. Don't want to be wasting too much time on this. But let's see how we get on. Can I actually? Okay, this isn't too bad. Huzzah! That's a little bit better. Doop, boop, doop, doop, boop, boop. Ow! Oh, you're a git. I can do this. Yes.
Ooh. Jammy get. So, change of plan. So we'll go for the DLC instead, because this is... Becoming a pain. Yo, 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 crow! Yeah, <laughs> I got pizza! Yeah, I'll just have myself a free cheese pizza. Though... Weirdly enough, Asda are now doing mac and cheese pizzas with a little bit of paprika on it. It was really nice. <laughs> bit rich, but nice. <clears throat> Good week then, man. Yeah, it was... different. And the fact that there was pasta on it was just a little bit... peculiar. But... It was... I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Not something I'd have, like, all the time, though. Turn off. There we go. What you got in yours? Pepperoni. <laughs> if only it was the Matrix. It is actually <clears throat> a buff from a ring and a shield that gives, like, regens my stamina, like, ridiculously. No, nope, don't voice. Ow. I don't want to be poisoned. It's behind you.
This is where we need to go. We have the first DLC area, the Crown of the Sunken King. If I remember rightly, some of the bosses in this DLC suck balls. And not in a nice way. Ah, we don't need that. <clears throat> Go. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> if we do go down that and there ends up being loads of people, you never know. But then again, they might need to get their gear back. He's an ugly bastard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we will see. Doesn't help that we both live so close to where we're going. Either way, it'll be nice to catch up with uh, all the peeps. Crow farm. And in a couple of weeks, I need to get us those tickets for Paradise Lost. Ow. Ow. Oh god, there's loads of them. Yeah, <laughs> yep, and yep. Go away, ugly man. No, get back down. Don't heal. Why is that guy just nodding away? Keep going. Oh no, he's listening to. So we need to go. Ooh. Oh well. Whack. Whack. Ha <laughs> ha. Heal. Yeah, it certainly will be. It's a good week, though. I've just been enjoying being back to work. What does that do? That's not so bad. <clears throat> Good. It's been quite pleasant, actually. Instead of just sitting around 
not doing an awful lot. And they've been absolutely fine with me. Which has been peachy. Yeah, that's it. Good thing it is, I had... I went back to work on the Tuesday. And then I went back to work again... Well, say went back to work. Then I have work... So I have four days there. Then... What did I do? And then I have Wednesday off, just gone. Because work paid for me to have my birthday off, which was lovely. Which I did absolutely naffle for, which I'm fine with. And I've got this Tuesday off. So I can go buy a new Xbox. So, <laughs> three weeks of four day weeks. Just go with that. Ah. Need to go buy more arrows. Well, true. Oh, that's alright, mate. Got to bear in mind, I don't have Facebook anymore. So, it was a... Uh, it was quite nice just not having all that attention and also just chilling out. All I did was I ate that pizza and streamed. That was literally my day, and it was... I can't see which one's moving. It was quite pleasant. Better than uh, some <coughs> had. I swear there is a bonfire around here. it down there? What's that do? Ah. Alright. Is he coming? There we are. Yeah, I think when it comes to birthdays, I kind of stop caring. Get to that point where you're just like, eh. So what did that do? Ah. Go this way. The hell is making that annoying noise? Yeah. <clears throat> A lot of it's also come down to since I stopped drinking as well. 
saw pictures of people that went out on Saturday night and I went, oh, yeah, it's Halloween. Oh, well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> really just didn't care. But that's okay. It's not like uh, it's missing anything. Or at least I don't think I was. Stop it. Oh, there's a bonfire up here. I know that much. Oop. I've got the wrong ring on. Right. Heal equipment. And <clears throat> PUBG's been given an Xbox release date. Finally. Beginning of December, it's like the 12th or something like that. So, I shall certainly be getting my copy. Yep. But I think it is coming out to the preview program. So, I don't think it's going to be the full release like we were expecting. Which is fine. What do you mean the hype's dying? You kind of uh, spent on it. Oh shit. Why is it broke? One of their patches just like ruined it. Oh no. Well, that's a shame. So are you just not able to get any games or anything? Yeah, we'll get fixed. You know, these games do have their issues like that. Because I've got no illusions that when it comes to the Xbox, it's going to be a uh, uphill battle for a while. Uh. I can see your frustration on that. It takes the fun out of it when it's like that. Right, that's not the way. Fingers crossed, though, it uh, gets fixed soon. Well, it's a good time to take a break from it. you got Forza to keep you company, and also uh, with how there's so many decent games out now. I still need to go when I get a chance.
get Wolfenstein. Okay. There's that one. Yeah, that will keep you busy. <clears throat> I've been chatting to a... A guy that plays... Oh. Um, who's got Shadow of War, the new Shadow of Mordor game. And he says he's... A <clears throat> it's one of those games that's just got a really long lifespan. So I'm hoping that keeps me busy for quite a while. And I've still got loads of little games I need to get. Like, um, I want to play the new Sonic Mania game. And, uh, a few other indie games. I can't remember what they were, they were now. Must be good. Stop that right now. Uh-oh. <clears throat> and then we're PUBG in November, uh, December. Yeah, definitely a few things to keep me busy. Why isn't this working? Oh, it's a different shortcut, that's why. Huh. Well, thank you for that. Ooh, spell. This is gonna suck. Suck, suckity, suck. Now I've got to try and remember how to get through this. <clears throat> Dragon Charm. These enemies are a pain. <clears throat> you have to kill the gravestone first. And I've still been playing Rainbow Six Siege, which has uh, not been favourable to me. <laughs> I need a team.
Okay, I remember what I need to do. Stamina that takes off me. It's ridiculous. Gonna run away and die. Gonna have to go buy some arrows, that'll be a good start. I want to buy arrows from. In the face. Better. Just use all of them because they're just menial. Let's 
let's use all them. I do. What do you have for me? Nothing I plan on using at the moment. Right. Come back again. Do you know what? Sod it. We need loads of arrows, really. And yes, don't really need that one anymore. So move up here. And quick. This is how we do it. Oh yeah, and as far as Bloodstock goes, they've announced more bands. And one of them will make you a little bit wet, Crow. Perfect.
more goodies lay for us here. Oh, yes. I've got a few of them, but I've not upgraded any armor. Need to look into that. A bit more, at least. Because my armor sucks. Don't eat me. Alright. Oh, the Katarina Helm. Lovely. Not that I'm going to use it, but I just like having it. Destructive Great Arrows. Lovely jubbly. Right. You can piss off. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Glad that, uh, got him. Just hate fighting through this area. There we go. Oh shit. Ooh, damage. Oh, missed. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you'll like this crow. Bloodstock have announced a new band. Don't know if you heard it. Can't be Christ. Oh, yes. For quite a nice addition. I am planning in the new year to get a ticket. <clears throat> the lineup's shaping up too nicely not to go. Hey, Bludgeon Prime. Note, this is uh, on the Xbox One, my friend. Yeah, the baby will be young. Not sure you can uh, take the baby with you. But then again, I've heard of people taking young children to these festivals, but <clears throat> not that I'd necessarily agree with it. Right, block door. Ah, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot about this. PS4 is definitely on my wish list of things to get. <clears throat> At some point. No. 
you shall not hit me. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> People do forget, though, that things like PS4s and Xboxes co cost a lot of money. And not everybody has that kind of funds to spare. Have you played um, Demon Souls? Because I haven't even got around to playing that. Uh. Oh, no, don't kill me. Dip dive. There we go. Do you have Dark Souls as well? Because I played it initially on the P. Uh, Xbox 360, but I never bought any of the DLC. So when it actually came out for the like <clears throat> Scholar of the First Sin edition, I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting on that. And especially since they changed all the. Uh, Enemy swarms and stuff like that. Flynn's ring. Was Demon Souls any good? Because everyone says about how good it is. And I absolutely love the Dark Souls series. So, to me, <clears throat> I want to go play that. Plus, on top of... Like, I've done all the Dark Souls games. But it's not... I want to do that and... Bloodborne. That's what I want a PS4 for. Bloodborne looks like an epic game. There we go. Oh, Bludgeon Prime. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated, my friend. Catch that. Yeah. We need to get a better sound for Patrick Stewart. The jab of the heart laugh just isn't entertaining me anymore. Boltstone. Petrified dragon bone. Not an illusion. How do I open that door? Um, there's no buttons around. Doesn't happen to open when I step on that, does it? No. Uh, I see. Got 
Gotcha. Right, so done this bit. So, oh, where do I go now? Puzzling stone sword, nice. But now I've done that, where do I go? Oh no, it's got to be for those butt munchers. <clears throat> God, I hate this section. So we've got all the good bits. Oh, and he's blimmin... What's that do? Because we can't fight him. Or him. Why is my ring at risk? Okay. Let's see if this will do any help. Ah, much better. Go. All right, don't be so dramatic. All right, this is a bit of a death run, but one because these are permanent. So now we can actually kill them. Oh, that didn't kill him. Ooh, you nasty bugger. That was close. That was very, very close. Ah! That's exactly what we needed. Sanctum Night Helm. Oh, thank God we didn't miss that. Release their souls, so now we can actually kill them. Oh, and we still roll well. Because they see me rolling. If I'm right, this is a poison chest. It certainly was. Crimson water. Let's tell us. Oh. It's rubbish. So technically that's a shortcut.
Oh. <clears throat> That's rubbish damage. I need to upgrade this bow. That's what I need to do. Next bonfire. This is why we buy arrows. Ooh. Right, repair powder. Effigy. Backstab. Because we're really close to the next bonfire. Tinkling Tight Knight. Generally, not a lot of good stuff. Not a mimic. Dragonstone. So if I'm correct, this way leads to... A burn fair. There's got to be another bonfire in here. And that's going to drive me nuts, because I know there is one. Alright, mate. Well, n nice catching up with you. Let me know what your plans are for tomorrow, and we'll uh, go from there. Nope, wrong one. Everything is awesome.
There we go. <clears throat> Actually, I'm surprised that went in the first try as well. Boss. No, bonfire. We gotta work out this armor situation. Still good. Still plenty of rolling. Let's soul up. What's the point? Do we still need this helm? Maybe that one's not the best one. That's good. So out of these staffs, yeah, I think the one we have is the best. Weapon, you need a bit of work on you.
Okay. Pleasantly happy with those upgrades. What's this do? Ah, the bridge. Great blood, great sword. Right, activate this elevator. There we go. This is the big old shortcut. Where does this take us out at? Ah, right. So now we go up again. Should be our bonfire up here as well. I'm fully aware this next boss is pile of shites. And then there's the dragon, who's a bigger pile of shite. What do you mean, Count? Why can't I use the bonfire? Am I being invaded? all the way down there. Well, this has got to be one of the few invasions we've actually had. Let him come to us. Oh, there he is. Why the hell would they have an invasion so far away? Kui. Kui. Oh. <coughs> 
Somebody had a nasty fall. If he comes all the way over and falls off the ledge, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> I've been pretty funny if I managed to get a shot on him. Can't hit him from all the way over here. There's tons of enemies through there. I'm not even going to venture over there. If he wants to f invade me, he can come to me. If he can even make it to me. Ah, oh, there he is. Wave. Yeah. This guy. <clears throat> I'm not even mad. Oh, I counted. Awesome. Right. <clears throat> now let's get down there. He must have seen us when we were uh, firing arrows at him. <laughs> Right, this is just that stupid maze you have to get through. Which isn't that annoying. But. It's the invaders and the enemies they have in here that are more the frustrating part. Um. For a starter, we need the silver cat ring. There's a bonfire around here. I just need to figure out where it is. Oh! Yeah, you don't. <laughs> well, that will teach me. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I've got to do all that again. Got to remember to send the elevators back up.
There we go. Not interested. I'm dead. I don't want to play with him. <clears throat> I don't want to play with you either. Oh shit. Spam you till dead. Bonfire. Where are they? There we go. Right, first run, not going to do it, but gives me a chance to be nosy. This feels very familiar.
Yeah, let's just use that. You're useless, but you will help. And I forgot you teleport. No. Wow. How the hell did I do that first time? I know somebody that would be proud of that. <clears throat> I'm absolutely gobsmacked by that. Shocking stuff, I know. We need more intelligence. Hey, Rex the Dog, how you doing? Having a good Friday, I hope. Just about to take on the dragon for the first time. Uh, yeah, I'm glad it's almost over. This week is nearly over, thank God.
Missed. And if I remember... Oh, shit. Poison. Rightly, he degrades weapons by attacking. Come on, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, no stamina. Let's keep going this way, this is going to be awesome. nothing. Okay, that's a bit better. We can do it! Might have to do a quick swap on weapons though. I don't know what weapons I've got though. Oh, don't do that. Oh, perfect. No, it's not my first time going through the DLC. As I started streaming, I started a new Xbox Live account. I have only played through this once in the DLC. Rex, my man, thank you for the follow. Perfect timing as well. <coughs> oh, that makes me wet. <laughs> no, this is the um, first time in pff, probably since Scholar of the First Sync actually came out that I've gone through this again. So I'm thoroughly enjoying it again. I 
and be as it may, I spent ages on the last boss. Absolute ages. And this time I did it first time. And same as our dragon. <laughs> Have you played ooh, like through all the Dark Souls games yet? I'll be around. The bearer of the curse until hope. We need more attunement. at the moment I'm just sort of uh, <laughs> such a good game I've really forgotten how good it is like I always rated it a lot less than uh, the other DL uh, games but I'm totally wrong this is still a really good game So, <clears throat> my favorite Souls game. That's a question. It has to be Dark Souls 1. It has to be, because Dark Souls 1 was just... Ah, there we go, that's what we want. Um, oh, we don't have the key. Okay. <coughs> Dark Souls overall is just a fantastic, unique series, and I remember playing Dark Souls 1 and just being so blown away by how frustrating it was. The first playthrough I did, before I looked up any guides or that, to get to the uh, gargoyles, it took me like 8 hours. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But then... I looked up a few guides just so I could get like the what's the red armor that you can get from is the guy like is the guy in New Londo Ruins and he you can find his armor in Bright Blight Town. But then also there's the Drake sword didn't even know about that. So when I picked up those things, it made such a difference. And I whizzed through the game, for the most part. Dark Souls 2 was a bit of a disappointment, but it was only because... Oh, you're there. Hello. Dark Souls 1 was just such an epic game. Ah, you're going to be a problem. Going back, it's a lot better than I remember. Dark Souls 3 is definitely the second best game. It is such an amazing game. WQ? To be honest, I have no idea what that means. Oh, really? What made you go for Dark Souls 2 over Dark Souls 1?
Because I got Dark Souls 1 after watching PewDiePie's playthrough. And then, like, I saw a couple of bits and went, oh, that looks interesting. But then, uh, I hadn't even finished Dark Souls 1 and I went and bought Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Well, yeah, with you being uh, on the PS3, it's not the easiest thing for you to get. So, have you not managed to play through Dark Souls 3 yet? Whoa! <laughs> Heavy iron key. That's what we need. Oh, that's a shame. Well, have you, have you sat there and watched it on Twitch and stuff like that? Because I kind of... What was that? Oh, it's Bloodstain. Because I think Dark Souls 3 is... Um, full of pleasant surprises. You can bugger off. Oh, he can still see me. Yeah, that's how I like to play it. Especially with these games, because they're so... <clears throat> unique in their style. I saw like the first launch trailer, uh, the first trailer for it, and then just steered well clear of all trailers. The only thing that got spoiled for me really was the tree boss. And without spoiling it for yourself, it was. Um, not really much spoiled. Half the problem is, though, when you've played such epic, like, you've enjoyed one or two of the games so much, like the first few games, the other games just won't live up to the hype. Like, you'll overhype it yourself. Have you done Dark Souls 1? Oh, what a shit! So would you, was it New Londo or Anno Londo? Oh no. I'm surprised you haven't picked it up on the PS, PS3 because I generally prefer playing on console anyway. Dark Souls 1 doesn't take much to run. But, playing on PC, because I did get it on PC as well, because, fanboy. <laughs> when you put some of the mods on, ah, uh, yes. So you actually got quite far in the game then. If I'm correct, anyway, because... Dark Souls 1 really gives you no direction of where you're supposed to go. Ow. I 
because I got stuck a needle on day ruins. Again, had to go on Google, find out how to kill the ghosts. But that's the great thing about the Dark Souls games, they don't hold your hand. They just dump you somewhere and say, off you go. Oh, yeah. Um, in short, you pretty much what I'd say beat the first boss. <laughs> The gargoyles are the first major boss. Ah. Oh. Yeah, your your priority is to go buy Dark Souls One on the PS3. It is by far the best and most difficult of the games. I think their boss creation is so much more creative. And there's still quite a active community for it as well. Right, so we need to kill the one down there. Because I played through Dark Souls 1 again... Must be about two, three months ago. When I first... Because it was one of the first games I started streaming. Ooh! Ooh! You shit bastard. <laughs> that fight for a first time player takes the piss of how difficult it actually is the biggest problem with it is well I wouldn't even say problem with it is you have two enemies which are very very different and you have to take them both on at the same time I couldn't... I don't think I've ever beaten them without having a summon. Huzzah, didn't fall in the hole. The Ornstein fight is... Definitely... Not for the faint-hearted, and you need to have the patience of a saint. <laughs> Ooh, fire drake stone. Yes, you do. You get one. <clears throat> Luckily, uh, um, it's one of those areas that if people are online playing, that's where they're putting their summon signs to help with bosses. The main reason why you need a summon is not for damage. Because you'll... Because when you go into the fight, where you have both of them, and they're both focused on you, that's the problem. Is they both come at you. And you spend more time dodging than you do even getting a window to attack. <clears throat> I 
so the best approach for it is to get a summon literally just to distract the other one And Dark Souls 1 is actually very good for having summons in the right place. Like, <clears throat> going up against Ormstein, there's a summon. One of the biggest things that I misinterpreted when... I started playing Dark Souls was summons. So when I came up against the gargoyles, I hadn't got the Drake Sword. And the Drake Sword is the most ridiculous sword and overpowered sword you can have in the game early on. And the way you get it is ridiculous. But it's also stupidly easy. And that is the sword you need to start the game with. You remember that dragon on the bridge? When you go under him, you need to have a bow and about 30 arrows. And just shoot his tail. It will rear up after one shot. It will go and walk up and down the bridge. And then it will go back to the same spot. Do that like 30 times. And then part of the tail breaks off and it's the sword. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> and even without upgrading it. It will help you so much. It's the only game I really encourage people to use um, guides on. That and getting the armor that I was talking about make stupid amounts of difference. And Firekeeper's Soul. There's one right at the beginning as well. <coughs> this place. Oh, I remember what that's for. And the way that Dark Souls is kind of laid out is it has a set sort of path, but where it doesn't tell you that, apart from, oh, ring two bells. You should go into the undead castle, defeat the belfry gargoyles, then you defeat... Yes. And then you go from there down to... The Capra Demon. Then into the Depths. Then into Blight Town. And then from there... Go back up. Into the Fortress. 
and the game kind of tells you where to go from there. But ringing those bells is just the priority at the beginning. Like trying to take uh, the, where you were going, you were going on to one of the other most difficult bosses of the game and those ghosts, there are a way of killing them. Which you can do early on, but is I, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Here, here. Because I completely fucked up with Dark Souls 1. <clears throat> Sorry, Dark Souls 2. Oh, those things. Later in the game, you come across a merchant. Like, as you're heading towards um, the undead church you go through it and into the sewer bit before you come out into the actual castle and there's a gate there that becomes a shortcut so you actually end up that shortcut has a merchant at the end of it who sells the transient curses which are the items you're talking about I found with those games, as long as you have something that gives you a direction on where to go, and not like a, like a big spoiler or anything, but just to tell you what area you should be in, goes a long way. Good thing is we're playing it on PC though, because you go into Blight Town and generally the game's frame rate sucks. But it really takes a dive. E even in like console game and the base PC game, you can use mods that basically just make the frame rate so good. And a couple of the mods just make the game look so much, like, considerably better. I don't have a smelter wedge. To be honest, that's pretty much what the game was like anyway. It was pretty dire. <laughs> Just overall, its ability to do anything sucked. But with a few mods, it make it goes like goes like a dream. Because I'd say like the difference between Dark Souls One and Dark Souls Two are quite considerable, actually. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I'm like as a mouse and keyboard person, I hate them, absolutely hate them. I will always use a controller. I played with my Xbox One controller because I I couldn't physically play without it.
Oops. Thing is, though, I've got a lot of friends that are PC Master Race people. And they just can't understand how I can use a controller. A controller to me is just. If I was playing like a real time strategy game, like Command and Conquer, then yeah, that's very different. I'll definitely choose a PC over anything else, like a mouse and keyboard over anything else for them. I tried to play Battlefield 3 on the PC and it was just... I couldn't do anything. Yeah, there totally is. A friend of mine, he used to be a Xbox player and now he's a PC guy. But he plays like games like PUBG and Total War and stuff like that. And he, he plays PUBG with a controller, but he can also play without it. Eep. He's quite versatile in that. Me, I, I, I'm just not even... I, I'm going to be all over that when it comes to the Xbox. <clears throat> hmm. See, I... I've tried. I probably just need a lot more practice, but it's just not worked for me. <clears throat> oh, hello. I'll always say how much the Xbox One control, like how good it is, especially for PC players. But it's uh, <clears throat> ow. Well, no ow, but just trying to think. What was I going to say? I'm really interested to see. How well, like, I'd love to see console players versus PC players. I know they've done, like, loads of statistical checks and that, and they know, <coughs> they've said that PC players have an advantage. I don't get that, but, the st you know, there's statistics there for a reason. It was like uh, one of the things they've talked about during the time that PUBG's been <clears throat> tested is how they're balancing it between making it fair. Oh, that was it. No, it was Gears of War. They took... I think it was quite a lot. Like, they ran it up against their PC stats. And they were saying that generally, yeah, they were saying that how much more precise a mouse is. What the hell? Oh. And how much better accuracy there was. So there was actually a difference between the players. I'd just like to get my hands on a game that, say, I'm good at. I'm quite good at Titanfall. 
and I'd like to go up against PC players. Just so I can see it for myself more than anything. But then say my friend, again, he plays Rocket League. And he always says about how... Um, like whenever we play on that... Hey, Poots and Boots, how you doing, fella? Yeah, he, he always uses a controller when he's doing um, Rocket League. Because it's just so much easier for him. I see you. Oh, no, you fell down. Yeah, definitely. It's um, optimized for it, I think is the best term of putting it. That's not open from this side. Yeah, it would be a... Uh, I think it's one of those games that that's why the cross-network players actually worked quite well for it. It's like the same thing for Minecraft. It's not really a... Uh, game that needs to worry about it. Still like to give it a damn good go though. I am in Pilgrims of the Dark, but I've kind of messed up. I've completed one of them. I did the second one, but it all went a bit tits up to be honest. I kind of managed to make my way through most of it and then died. Constantly. Oh yeah, that was it. I lit the flame and I killed one and it didn't... Like, I killed the guys in there. Apparently I didn't kill all of them. Because <sighs> I wanted to complete that, beat that boss, and then... That will count as maxing out a covenant. The problem that I've had is that I couldn't do it. Ooh. Bastards. So I need to uh, go back and give that another punt soon. Right, that's a bit better. I know I need to go down there for some reason, though.
Oh, lots of them. Isn't there a bonfire down here? I know there's a summon over the other side. Who's it? A git. Fume Knight. Straight off the bat, that's the one that I can say off the top of my head was the one that sucked the most. <laughs> it was also one of the most fun because I like the challenge of just being a one-on-one -on -one straight up fight. On that note, actually, I'm going to go retry the Pilgrims of Dark. Yeah, that sounds about right for me. I had the same sort of problem. He's an absolute sod. Oh, what was the one I was in? It is... There. Yeah, he's an absolute bastard and I hate him. And he is such a good sword. Was impressed with him though. I do like the um, Ivory King fight, mainly because it is just a. F it's like an army. Just a big old army battle. That really was good. But it was difficult when the NPCs aren't quite doing what you need them to do. This should be much easier now that we've actually got some upgrades. Yeah, I'd say the hardest bosses in... What two cats? I can't remember what cats you're on about. <coughs> Is that in the last DLC? The ice level. Is that the optional one? Because I remember there being the optional area. Yeah. I couldn't tell you if I beat them or not. Because I remember reading up about it. I remember that much. But it's, uh, parry him. <laughs> I am no good at parrying. I got so used to parrying in Dark Souls 1. That's a piece of piss. And Dark Souls 2 I can parry, but I've got so out of practice of it. And Dark Souls 3, parrying, is just, I'm useless at it. Yeah, because they had him in the, um, it was like a snowstorm, and it was ridiculous. Oh, wrong weapon. Yeah, have that. 
don't, don't hit back. See, Poots, it was you that was talking about Ravia's being good. Well, you did... Oh. Go on about how good it was. That's who I... Is that who I forgot to kill? Alright, Poots, you're the one to remind me on this. This isn't the exit, is it? Because I did this, killed all the people in here, lit the fire, went through, and it just didn't count. Right, it's on fire. Is it me or am I going mad? I know I'm going mad, but... This is the exit, right? I'm going for it. Shit, apparently I did it right. Shut off. Ah, oh, stop doing that. So now do I just go back in there and I can just fight him straight away? Ah, there we go. Great resonant soul. Before I go jumping in, I just want to quickly read that because it's.
Because I don't want to have to keep fighting that lot over again. <clears throat> Nah, it won't. It'll be fine. More than anything, my Xbox is dying anyway. I'm literally just waiting until Tuesday so I can get, get my Scorpio edition. Right, so that's already lit, so that's fine. I'm dead. <sighs> yeah, my Xbox growls at me when I put discs in. It's been doing it for, for a couple of years now. A couple of months ago, it decided that it didn't want to connect to the Wi-Fi and said there was a hardware fault, but that fixed itself. And most recently, it decided that having connecting controllers to it, sometimes it just goes, no, I don't want to do that. I always miss that one. Ah, oh. son of a bitch. Right, well, that's where I'm going to end the stream because I am knackered. So, Rex, thanks for the follow. Poots, always a pleasure. Anyways, who came along, thank you very much, and I hope you have a good evening. I will be back probably tomorrow daytime with a stream, and Sunday definitely will be streaming. So, have a good weekend, guys.